Someone asked which alt do you like better? Tastingo is 50 mana at 60 seconds cooldown. And Guillotine is 70 mana at 45 seconds cooldown. The damage on Guillotine is extremely low unless you're missing a lot of HP. That makes it a an okay. That makes it an okay poke damage. Or an amazing finisher if you're low. Hmm. Whereas Dust Dingo is your escape button, basically. Just like for Ariel, Crystal Aegis became the popular alt because it can save herself. Resurrect can save someone else. But it's channeling, it's situational, and most of all, she cannot stop herself from getting all in. Dust Dingo, same thing. Four seconds, he will not die, giving your support the chance to heal you. In fact, I think this one works pretty well with Ancestral Healing. We're talking about Tassadar, Medivh and so on, but the fact of the matter is, if you make full use of Tas Dingo, you're gonna be at 1 HP. Whatever healing you get is gonna be your new HP total, which still isn't that safe. Ancestral Healing brings you 100% value. Like, you cannot get a better Ancestral Healing than that. Even Divine Palm is not as safe as uh, because you don't, like if you mistime it, it won't prompt. I think it's really good with uh, Ancestral. Funny thing Maybe is, it's, it's good friend. with Dotlust as well. Rub Tam, tell me your fave build on Zul'jin. Thank you, uh, Aurelius. Yes. Kai Boraka, of course, of course. You enjoy four seconds of double attack speed. Is Zul'jin topping damage charts? Uh, it depends from game to game. Yes, it's in maintenance on Europe, Sir MG, but on NA it's, da it's uh, available. Now that is a scary comp. <sighs> Especially for uh, solo support Tassadar. And we only have three bodies in the fight. Tass, ATC and Zul'jin. Sylph, bit squish, I guess she's kind of a body. She has a body, that's for sure. Uh, Nova, not really there. Interesting, difficult one. Uh, when you are low, ability power increase. That gives you bonus regen as well. From regen. Actually, that could be a pretty interesting combination. If you get Arcanite Axes and thro Thrall's Blood, Troll's Blood, you're gonna get an insane amount of healing. But it's all out of combat. What are you when you do that? I'm gonna get Bone Slicer, I think. No, I'm gonna get Arcanite Axis. I wanna do W Spam. Ah. And I'm out of mana. I 
think if Zul'jin turns out to be underpowered, the mana, uh, a mana eight is what he needs. I hope you're ready. Dreadful work. I was just in time to give them all a chain bomb kit. Yeah, Zul'jin is kind of like the old Vala and uh, Tyrael. I'm gonna have to back a lot. Oops. <laughs> that will never get old. Actually, that's gonna get old so fast. <clears throat> I think let the killing begin is too good to not to take, even if you're not specking auto attack build. Shield, where's Toss? Oh, Toss is bot. <laughs> Not a good decision for Toss to go bot, I think. But I should have known about it if it was the case. I didn't read chat nor nor saw it. Okay, I need to move my chair. In the way. No, but don't leave. Linda, brother, you. The dawn is coming, and with it, my children. Thank you. Oops. I might want to turn off quick cast for a little while. Your enemy has spawned a terror. I think it's nice to have uh, this level 4. Okay, I, I kind of like, uh, I'm starting to kind of like Zildjian a lot.
Remember not to move when your attack speed is insane. Hmm, this might be my favorite build so far. Like, yeah, we don't have the auto attack damage or the bonus damage from low health, but now we don't have to be low health. We ignore recklessness. I won't say that this is per se the best, but it's a pretty nice burst damage. This one may be too situational, like it has to be the center. It's nice to use it without needing to hit the center. Uh, against this comp, do I get Tastingo? Maybe. Nice wailing. I just get Tastingo for safety then. I'm not gonna engage stupidly with it again. I don't know why I used it, but it's pretty short cooldown, so I guess it's okay. Wait, what? Is he the hunt? Ah, that's why. No, no. <laughs> Full HP just didn't go. No, I know, I know. I I was uh, I was spacing out. <laughs> Shiro. I used it too soon again. I'm using it like it's ancestral healing. <laughs> that was a EU, EU out there. Oh! Oh wow. It's more like Divine Palm? Yeah, no, I get it. I. I just pressed it because I'm spacing. Uh. It is pretty intimidating to hear Tastingo. They're like, oh my god. This time I'll try Forest Medicine. I can now regenerate and move at the same time. Did we get the camp? That's the question. Are you all right? Did we get the camp? Uh, it's nice actually. Regeneration while moving. It could have been very useful if he would please stop attacking me. Yes. 
yes, more damage. Feed me your rage. And we don't need to chase, but if we do, our plant is gonna get more value. Four glorious seconds. Your terror has been cut down. My servants will clean that up. Wow. Interesting location. We got the fort. E can be buffed if you take Troll's Blood or Arcanite Axis. It's not really meant for fights, I think. See, it's kind of like... Um, it's a little bit like Misha's healing, except not in fight. So nothing like it. You cannot heal in combat, except if you don't get attacked. Lacerate, spinning, keep spinning. Nice, W build with more spins. All missed. We need a uh, Terra. Nova can take the plant. Damn those evasions, man. I could have, should have tried to attack a different target, maybe. Let's go for the keep. We this fort, huh? hmm. Spinning blades doesn't seem that great. It misses most of the time a second hit. I guess it's like a zoning thing, right? The slow doesn't seem that good either. Maybe ferocity is the best. Does this ult suck? I mean, it kept me alive. That doesn't mean I need to keep fighting. The only way I so far ever used it <laughs> is turning it on. And then uh, right as I turn it on, I stand still and I attack for four seconds. What I could also do, turn it on, survive, step away, heal, re-engage. You don't need to stand there and auto attack. I got marks for you. Oh, 
Nice. That was unexpected. How about we just never let it get night again? Don't clear the seeds. It would be a strat. I see you survived in the night. How wonderful. That's the one I have, Biocore. Uh, restores health when over and met the brutes enemies two seconds both seem so good it's my first level 20 with zuldin i'm pretty high which one shall we take guys heal or net the trait does not eat away atasar shields which is pretty nice so you have leeching forever Net does not suck, I don't think. I think it's amazing. I think it's really good on Illidan. And then it also guarantees a W hit. I'm gonna try Net. Most votes were for it and I agree. The range is... Wait, it's a skill shot? Oops. <laughs> Any doubts? I mean, Kelthos, he took four blades to the face. That sound effect. That's a beautiful ending. Victory. Nice. MVP. Greetings, friend. How do you recommend I download Frozen Throne if I've lost my disc years ago? Uh, I mean, you can't. You would have to rebuy it. As far as I know. We won because of net. <laughs> I want to show you the maximum damage you can do with um, the guillotine. Thank you for the resub, SSK22. Toss Dingo means um, victory, as far as I know. Uh, 
This one doesn't matter. I wanted to get to low life, but it was a little bit too low. Uh, let's see. I want to see actually the total damage burst that you can do. <laughs> it should be remembered that if you want to hit your W, you need to take one step back. Except if you have the level 1 quest. Okay. So. First of all. You can hit it twice. Someone said you can hit it twice. I don't see it yet. Yeah. Okay, you need to hit it perfectly. Right as it turns green. Then you will hit it twice. So that's 3731 damage. Depending on how much life you have level 20 now we also have the ability power from the passive here arcanite axis this one doesn't matter this one doesn't matter and this one does matter let's see how much the spinning axis does if you hit it twice 2000 damage we have almost no life now we have no life Two thousand. So you combine the two thousand with the guillotine for four thousand. That's six thousand damage, and it's not counting the Q, which is another two seventy-four more with the ability power, of course. Six thousand four hundred, and let's say two auto attacks after the Q. That's eight hundred. So we can do seven thousand. 200 damage You have to be at 1 HP without having the luxury of Tasdingo out And you must be at perfect range for everything Seven thousand six hundred. Three auto attacks. It's not too hard, actually. The hardest part is casting this without quick cast and hitting someone twice. <laughs> so that was 7600 now let's see if we have a little bit more health just around 40% health Not bad. It would be nice to root before combo. So as a follow up, if you're like sh sharking around at the back with this much life, you can be like... Even if you don't hit it perfectly because you don't get the double hit, it's still pretty cool. Ah, I see what you're thinking. When when someone void prisons a group of people and you're like this 
I think some people are gonna die. I just need to see how close do you actually need to do it? Here. If you keep hitting, the fun never ends. Uh, another good thing to know is that when you're attacking someone and let's say they get stunned like you're you're like chilling out you're attacking them they get stunned take a step back take two steps back you're attacking someone at max range without the level one auto attack range take two steps back when they get stunned and hit your w or three two to three steps back and I suspect if you have your auto attack range, you take one step back. And you need to hit fairly far in front of someone to hit them with both the initial hit as well as the follow up. Like this, I think. No. Like this, I think. Nope. Here. Nope. Just like that. Whatever you want. My oh my, it's rather difficult. So, can Zuljan self proc Monk's palm? Nope. Do I think Zuljan is broken? No, I don't think so. Jeez. That's a lot of damage. Semi-realistic. Just bring yourself to 1 HP. And then... Turn on, just then go and kill someone. Of course, in real games, you only get one Tastingo. 